real good turnout for all of us. Thank you everyone for your help and for coming. Real quick, I got a, uh, somebody, two people had asked me last night, and I can't, I have no clue who they were. Uh, you might be here tonight, but they asked me about this. Clifford Schiffel made this. I don't know if you had a chance to see it. It is something awesome. And we'll have it here. Um, he gave it to the store. Thank you, Clifford and his wife, for uh, doing this for us. They're absolutely amazing work. But anyway, I had a couple of people they could get one of these made and, and uh, uh, talk to Clifford or myself about getting one of these things made. And I don't know what the cost would be, but. Uh, I think you'd be glad to do that uh, if you needed a copy of it.
We're going to play it fast now. All right. <laughs> Here comes the cake. Raise your hand if you want to be the cake. All he wants to do, he raised up both hands. Somebody's supposed to remind me of something. We got somebody special here tonight. This young lady right here in the green. Come on. Come on. You're gonna sing one with me, don't you? Tell everybody how young you are. I'll be 91 one day. So yeah. And I only get to come up here once in a while. But when I come to see my son, this is it. <laughs> we have to come here. Thank you. Can we do a little happy birthday? Yes. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Jackie's gonna come up and do one of the Megan things. Come on, Jackie. We did that other one. We did that other one. sticks with the Earl Scruggs style bluegrass playing on the banjo and uh, I had a good comment this week uh, I was able to Mark Stoudemire and I went up to uh, Kristen Scott Benson's house who plays with the Grassfuls and by the way uh, she kind of said they were trying to come to the store they were going to do it a couple weeks ago but something didn't happen so um, hopefully soon we'll have the Grassfuls here uh, playing music uh, and they are if you don't know the Grassfuls look them up they're top of the line 
top shelf. Anyway, she made a comment. She says, uh, you're doing really good. Your banjo teacher's doing a really good job. So that was a, kind of a good compliment coming from Kristen. Uh, so Mr. Bell, you top shelf. But you know, listen to this. If you go around, okay, Al taught everybody, I think, that plays the banjo in this area, taught Al Osteen. Uh, who else? Al, and then Al taught so-and-so. And, and anyway, Kristen, I think it comes from. She was one of Al's students. She was one of Al's students. So this guy started it all, you know. Uh, And you know it's a it's a blessing it's an honor to have Larry here in our area to have somebody this caliber in our area that's still keeping the tradition alive. Uh, he also um, taught Stephen Tomlinson, and a lot of you know Stephen. He's off to college, but uh, in a very short period of time, that guy played an awesome banjo. Yes, he does, and he does a fine job. And I will tell you what, I just told his dad a little while ago, I sure do miss him. Because he was up here on Saturday nights and loved it, and uh, he still does. I'm uh, trying to talk to him into going to Spigma. And while I'm talking about Spigma, I have uh, registration forms up here. If you're still interested in Spigma, I have four rooms left. So if you're interested, uh, let me know. And I know Stephen's thinking about it. We can figure out a way to go get him, get him back. I've been doing this since we were got running hard. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, Ox, you, you can't get sick or do anything because I, I've been playing probably over a year under this guy. And uh, this awesome banjo player. So I, I asked him, when did you start playing? He said about 13 or 14 years old. So I did the math. So I'm going to be just as good as this guy or better when I'm 89 years old. <laughs> <laughs> the math works. Okay, truck driving the math.
Thank you.